Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Apache Kafka server on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Apache Kafka server. So simply click on launch. After that, you will be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And you can leave the network settings as default and finally, click on the accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. And by the way, for Kafka, we need to connect to three different SSH terminals. Now to open up a new SSH terminal, simply click on this SSH button right over here. Now this is going to open up SSH terminal inside a new window. Now once inside the SSH terminal, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to run the environment for Kafka. For that, simply click the link in the description box to come to the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Apache Kafka server on GCP. And from here, the very first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to head inside the directory for Kafka installation. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, to run the Zookeeper service, simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then wait for the service to start. Once you see this output, this means that the service is up and running. Now we need to open up a new SSH terminal. For that, simply head back to Google Cloud and click on SSH one more time to open up another SSH terminal. Now for this second terminal, you want to start the broker service. For that, head back to the blog post and then head inside the Kafka installation directory by using this command. And then to start the broker service, copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. And then again, wait for the service to start. And once you see this output, this means that the service is up and running. So now the environment or the services are completely running. Now we can work on creating topics and writing events to those topics. So for that, we need to open up yet another terminal. So head back to Google Cloud and open up a third terminal. Now in this third terminal, you want to head inside the Kafka directory again using the cd command and within this directory, we are going to execute the Kafka topics shell command. For that, we have this command over here. Now as you can see that the flags of this shell script define that it is going to create a new topic and whose name is going to be quick start events on the local host 9092. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal to create a new topic. So now as you can see that a new topic was created which was quick start events. Now if you want to get the description of this topic, what you can do is that you can again run the topic shell script but this time around instead of the create flag, we are going to provide the describe flag. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and wait for a few moments and after that, you would be presented with a description of the topic that you are working with. And now to write events to this topic, we have two different types of shell scripts. One is known as the consumer shell script which is used to read the events and the other is known as the producer shell script which is used to write the events. So for writing, we are simply going to use this command. As you can see that we are using the producer shell script and then we are defining the topic on which we write using the topic flag. So if I copy this command and paste it inside my SSH terminal and hit enter, it is going to show me this arrowhead. Now this is going to allow me to write events. So I can write something like this is my first event. And it is going to allow me to write even more events. So I can just go like this is my second event. So when you are done writing events, all you need to do is that you need to press Ctrl plus C to stop. And then if you want to read all the events within this topic, what you can do is that you can use the consumer shell script. For that, simply come to the blog post and copy this command and execute it onto the SSH terminal. Wait for a little while and it will show you all of the events. So you can see that it has read both of the events that I had just recently written to it. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Kafka on Google Cloud and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Apache Kafka server on Google Cloud. Now finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.